We secured all three of their new battle ornaments. Nice job. I'll hold on to those for you. We refuse to divulge our affiliation or names. International law mandates proper treatment of us as prisoners of war. Huh. You're pretty bossy for someone who's surrendered. Well, I'm certain the Intelligence Division will give you your proper treatment. So long as you do not resist or attempt to flee, we will guarantee your lives. <laughs> Took you long enough. Hey guys, what's up? Are any of you injured? <sighs> We're fine. I see all your preparations paid off, Major. You had this planned from all the way back when we met at the race course, didn't you? We were dancing at the end of his strings the whole time. What? He planned this whole thing? Is that even possible? If anyone would be capable of such a feat, it would be the Scarecrow. Hey now, I'm only human. This is all just a happy coincidence. We were finally able to catch the spies we've all been after. You should think of this as teamwork. How? <laughs> I can see how it would feel like we've stolen your prey out from under you. It's true that this place is southwest of Heimdall, so it does fall under your jurisdiction. Would you prefer if we handed them over to you? <laughs> it was Class 7 that flushed them out of hiding and wore them out. It doesn't matter who turns them in. Each of our groups should be thankful for the other's assistance. That's right. We should be glad they didn't manage to get away. You're all fine with this, right guys? Yes. No objections. <laughs> we'll leave it to you.
the year the Civil War took place. I see. So he was... One of your friends from Class 7. Yeah. Crow Armbrust. He was actually a year ahead of us, like Instructor Toa. It was only for a short time, but he joined our class. We did all sorts of things together. Field studies, the school festival. He was a little brash and even more of a troublemaker. But he was caring, reliable, and one of the best friends you could ask for. Even though we became enemies once the Civil War broke out. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbrust you've known all this time, he isn't real. He never was. Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. As I was affiliated with the Noble Alliance, I knew a little about him. He was the leader of the terrorist group known as the Imperial Liberation Front. He was also referred to as the Azure Chevalier. Oh, I heard about him. He and his Azure Knight wiped the floor with the Imperial Army. Yes. But right at the end, he finally returned to Class 7. When a calamity from two and a half centuries ago rose again and seized the Crown Prince, we all worked together. Me, Crow, the rest of Class 7, even Vita. We put everything aside and gave our all to rescue the Prince. Crow even put himself in danger to open up a way for me. But he was fatally injured as a result. What happened there pushed all of us in Class 7 to move forward. I decided to stay at Thor's with Valimar and fulfill the government's orders. Everyone else graduated, and each of them decided to do what they could. We all pledged to meet up again in these turbulent times, and find an answer together. You've never mentioned this before. I had the impression you and the members of the old Class 7 were planning something, but... I thought only the SSS had that kind of determination. But... You're just like them, Instructor. <laughs> what a bunch of starry-eyed dreamers. Normal people don't just go around spouting lines like that, you know. <laughs> I think it's lovely. <laughs> Well, that's what those of us in the old Class 7 decided to do. There will come a time when you guys will need to decide how you're going to move forward as a class. And I plan to give you all the support I can until that time comes. Just like how our instructors and upperclassmen supported us. <laughs> Understood! Thank you! It's encouraging to hear that. You have our thanks for your guidance. I still do not completely understand myself, but I feel like I've gained a lot in these past few months. I haven't given up on making you mine, Instructor. But putting that aside for a moment, I think in a way something guided me to join all of you in Class 7. Well, I guess I can keep tagging along with you for a bit. That way? It'll be all the easier to pass you up. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong, Yuna? There's something shiny in the dirt here. Someone dropped their jewelry? Should we turn it into the Gravekeeper? 
It looks like quite a lovely brooch. I'm sure its owner... <gasps> Is something wrong, Muse? Huh? Hmm? I feel like I've seen it before. That's... That crazy biker chick had something like that on, didn't she? Can I see it a moment? There's no doubt. This is Angelica's. So she came here sometime after we saw her last month? Could it have been sitting here since then? Hey. It's been bugging me for a bit, but... Does the dirt here look off to anyone else? You're right. It looks different around this grave. As if it's recently been dug up. <sighs> Toa, are you at camp right now? I need to talk with the Major and the Principal.